Your kidneys are responsible for filtering the fluids in your body, and they're essential for transferring waste out of the body. We spoke with Dr. Rudolfo Batarse at Desert Regional Medical Center in Palm Springs, California, who talks about how our kidneys work and what happens when they don't work properly. And the kidneys do a wide variety of functions. Many people know the most common one, and that's getting rid of uremic toxins, which is what we do when we urinate. Also, when we urinate, we also get rid of excess fluid. So it controls fluid in the body, and it also gets rid of toxins or breakdown products of metabolism. But the kidneys do much more than that. They control blood pressure. They actually control your red blood count. They make the hormone that tells your bone marrow to make more blood. They also activate different hormonal systems in the body that help control the strength of your bones and the amount of calcium in your blood. Dr. Bertarsi told us what happens when the kidneys don't work properly. When the kidneys don't function, then the role that the kidney plays, each one is affected. As the kidneys don't work well, well, the urine quantity can actually drop. And that's when people have edema or swelling. Not only does the quantity of urine go down, but the quality of the urine goes down, meaning that less of these uremic toxins are excreted from the body. As, as the toxins in our blood go up, then we have symptoms, confusion perhaps, Maybe we're not as hungry. Uh, food doesn't taste as good. Nauseated all the time, sometimes even vomiting. Can't fall asleep. Also, since the kidneys make the hormone that signal blood production to the uh, bone marrow, and if the kidneys don't make that hormone, well, your blood production, your red blood cell count starts to dwindle, and you become anemic. And with anemia, fatigue follows. Weakness follows. All these things start to happen. Dr. Bertarsi talks about the age at which our kidneys function the best. The kidneys tend to do their best job at about 30 to 35 years of age, so it's pretty young. And then every year after that, the kidneys lose anywhere from one half to one percent of function per year. But the kidneys are very, are very robust. They can lose a lot of function and still be able to perform the duties that, are, that they're called upon to do. And what are the things we can do to take care of our kidneys? Well, I would say that there's five things we all need to do to take care of our kidneys. So the number one, number two, and number three are proper blood pressure control. Number four, if you have too much protein in the urine, then we have to control that. And we do that two ways. One, you guessed it, control your blood pressure. And number two is there's certain medications that have the effect of lowering the amount of protein in the urine. And the fifth thing is don't take medications that hurt the kidney. The most common medications that can hurt the kidney are pain medications. Motrin, Advil, Ketoprofen, Ibuprofen, Indocin, Indomethacin. All these taken large amounts at once or small amounts over a long period of time, days, weeks, months, can definitely have a negative effect on kidney function. So we have to be very careful with that. Now, if you have pain, and you have discomfort, and you have kidney disease or kidney dysfunction, then talk to your doctor. There's uh, prescription medications that don't hurt the kidney that can still get rid of the pain and control it.